compact. Uh, as I mentioned, the young Matildas, let's watch for Inella, Holmes and uh, Condon and the bench. We also have uh, Yanella at right back uh, and Holmes and and they were crucial to the success of the young Matildas over in Vietnam. And as you can see, Condon are first off two minutes in and she's kept that down. Which Her handle on it. Get some support from Jarvi. Clever back heel for Winters. Winters thought about the left foot shot. Tried to take it into the box and link up with Patinos. The foot there from Patinos. Now, gorgeous ball forward. Finds Carney. And again, clever outside of the foot. This time for Patinos. And a good interception from Yanella to stop that going any further. A bit more pressure on and quicker. This emergency, as you mentioned. Now here's the opportunity for a breakaway. Taken to ground is Lisa Marie Woods. So for Cooper, it's a couple of touches and tries to release Carney down the left. Again, it's Yanella policing that sideline effectively. Winters making that run into the box. She's desperate to score today. Here's Moore trying to get a foot on it for Adelaide because Yanella is going to take it. Needs a target in for it. Goes to Pedersen. A bouncing back. Lots of questions. Here it is for Patinos again. Takes on Yanella this time. Needs some support. Henry will come. Won't be used. Some things of beauty to enjoy. Absolutely, especially with the International Club Challenge coming up. Yes, indeed. Uh, the prize for being successful a little too much here now beard though gets a cross in who's at the far post only a defender for now earlier plays that might have ended better for western sydney so this is wide open this game with 23 and a half minute forward but pedersen delivers to all that traffic that is forward for her specifically more yanella similarly has pressure to deal with and does so still has cooper in front of her takes on cooper so they hit it both sides growing in confidence the longer they're out there, it would appear. Yeah, it's actually Linda O'Neill isn't going to get that cross in, but Patinos made the run anyway, and even though the cross was going over her head, it still resulted in a goal because she made that run. Meantime, at the other end, there's an opportunity for Condon Chips. Never yet. O'Neill forward for Beard. Beard sees a little bit of space. Couldn't get the left foot onto it in time, and it was blocked. To get that ball out of there, but... When Michelle Carney is on the byline, she should not be able to turn three players to bring that ball back in to pass to Beard. Really Suter with some room. Immediately crosses, puts some pressure on Yanella, tries to retain the ball. Lucky to us again. And the breakout might well be on here for Alonso and the Adelaide Lady Reds. Yanella just got the ball behind her a moment, which slowed the progress. Holmes. Tracks three. Alonso still looks peppy. Weighs a ball beautifully for Yanella. Yanella works inside one, takes a shot. And it's charged down by first half. It's Moore. And a nice bit of ball movement. Woods, Yanella delivered in. And there's Seaman redeeming herself. Holmes takes a shot from a... For the young Matildas. She was also player of the tournament at the NTC Challenge for um, South Australia. So just such exciting times for South Australia at the moment. Build to something here, Western Sydney. Winters, rough touch, uncharacteristic for her. Controls it, works it onto the right. And it's debatable who it's off last. <laughs> Cheeky little grin from uh, Winters suggests that uh, right, if you already have saw bits. Here's Patinos down the left. We'll go back to the saw bits in a minute. Uh, she's got work to do and somehow runs it down. Uh, she's got Alonso. They can see there's something on down the right with Moore. Moore touches on first time for Yanella, who's given a lead. Yanella, time on the ball. She tries to deliver back for Moore. A little too close. And, uh basically provide a link between the strikers in the midfield because at the moment there's a gulf between them. Yanella 
Well, it's my understanding there's a fairly late decision to Cooper. She's up to it yet again. And Jarvi caught in two minds whether to go for Carney or try and swing it left for Patinos. In the end, didn't quite do either. Barbieri for Yanella. That's where these pitches are good, like a ball like that out from Barbieri that you, that's going to half volley up into your chest. On an Australian pitch, that can be a nightmare ball. The super sub has made Sarah Walsh look a genius. Uh, she... uh, look, I don't want to praise her too much, but look, she's had a 100% completion rate in terms of her pass. She hasn't given the ball away once, and now she's actually she scored a goal. I think it's actually officially been given to Chidiak also. Is Yanella under pressure? Kulazakis. He just takes one. The bread basket. Yanella. Mahomes. Winters. Now, can they pick up one of the three red shirts pushing forward? Nope, those red shirts need to turn and go back. Kulazakis. Nice defensive stickiness there from Yanella. She was shown a few tricks there. But she didn't fall for any of them. Steps and goes and gets behind Henry. Christy Moore needs support. Holds it up. Finds Yanella. Pedersen. Holmes. Winters looks to put pressure on. Yanella provides a target. Western Sydney trying to force a cheap turnover. Holtham gives it off for Yanella. Heads off to be a target. Edison.